this is Saima Dillon um, with the Heart to Heart with Women of Noor. And um, uh, I have been streaming um, for the past uh, 15, 16 months. Um, and I love what I do. I feel that all these amazing women who come on the show, they have changed me as a, as a person and they have helped me grow as a person. And uh, Thank you, Saima. That was beautiful. And hi, beautiful ladies out there. Um, this is Kalpana. And I'm uh, honored to be part of this podcast, Heart to Heart with Saima. And I'm enjoying the show as much as you guys are. And uh, so that's me. And also, apart from the show, I am a Montessori teacher, a proud Montessori teacher, who learn every day from my children um, the, uh, the innocent um, situations they go through. Um, and I'm married for 24 years. Um, and if you can hear my dog there, so we have a pet. And to learn the pet. Lipstick reader and the kiss whisperer that sounds pretty intoxicating to celebrities, VIPs, luxury brands, and today with you. What I do is I read the kiss print, very similar to the features of your fingerprint, and also add a little DNA. So it's very scientific. What I do is I read the features, which is going to tell me your past, present, and your life journey. So here we go, here we go. Make sure. Right now, I only have one kiss, so we want to make sure there's not too many angels with us. So here we go, five, six, seven, eight. Namaste. And we have to connect. So my name is Manu Shahi, and I'm a resident, uh, proud resident of Flower Mound, Texas, for the last uh, 25 years. And um, I've been here um, where I have a small business, and uh, I live with my husband as an empty nester. My daughter is away to college, um, and so it's just both of us and a little dog, a whole dog. Um, so I run an after-school program here in Flower Mound and now actually uh, in, the, in the DFW area and it's um, it's a school where we actually improve no, no, no. You fit in perfectly Miranda, you are that spice um, that we needed to sprinkle um, on uh, our, uh, uh, our our tea so, because <laughs> as uh, Indian and Pakistani women, we, we are t uh, usually mostly tea uh, drinkers. And what I love about this is we are powerful, empowered women of color. And again, yeah. we may come from different backgrounds, different ethnics, but what we're going to share today is basically where we've been and where we're going. And I just want to share with your your viewers, this is the first kiss. I just want everyone to know. Move it a little bit to the, yes. There we go. And so this is the first kiss, what we are going to share and exactly what you just mentioned, it's in this journey. And then we have the second kiss. So I just want to get everyone's anticipation of what's next. So Manu, uh, you, have, uh, you have written a book and so what is your book all about? Um, I've written three books and uh, actually not, they are not all my, like I'm a co-author and you know. Okay. So my first one was about my journey as uh, when something unexpected happened in my life. And uh, okay. that's where, when you asked me those three words, that's where the change came from. And uh, my second one was when I sold my business, which I, that's how Kalpana and myself met. Um, as an educator, what I saw in the eyes of an educator in the families and writing that pulled you towards writing. Well, I was always my, you know, when I used to run Kuman, a uh, lot of people used to say, uh, okay, what, what is that? Key? So that's one of your tarot cards. Okay, do you know I have a tattoo which is a key? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. And I, brought, I brought it up because the question was, what prompted you to do this? And this card came up to say, because you've had the key and you had to unlock it. So I, I just, sorry, I interrupted. This card came up. And no, said, that's fine. I mean, you, you <laughs> just interrupt anyone, Kalpana, any, you know, whoever has questions. Just, um, I think her first painting was sold for $40 at, uh, at a Make-A-Wish event. And well, so we were now into a ritual, the maintenance phase that I say, where we have a new ritual. She has an art teacher. She went from one art teacher to the other. And slowly and slowly, her paintings went from $40 to $1,000 to $10,000 to $20,000. Each painting was being sold at that amount. And she set a goal for herself that before she goes to college, that she's going to go ahead and raise $100,000 and give everything to make a wish. Um, the last stage, which I talk about, which is the Zen phase, is um, 
her, her senior year in college, uh, we decided to paint um, a painting of the first wish child through which the, uh, the organization is telling me all that. And we, so whenever I used to doubt myself, and it is okay to be angry, when I'm, there's nothing wrong with being angry because that's an emotion and we end up hiding it. But anger will, you know, once you get over that anger, it's only then you'll be able to find the, the maintenance phase of but it's very important for you Marana to find a new ritual you cannot be in that old situation of your old rituals um, to find because now you're normal the past few years have been have have there have had their highs and lows in my life and uh, there have been you know there was a lot of turbulence um, and uh, I think this podcast right here that I started doing in in May of last year for me it started because I, my soul was searching and um, and uh, this person his name is Connor and he he I, I got on a call with him and he told me that you know what it was a real estate call but he said you know what you need to just start doing a podcast and and that's based on his advice I started doing this podcast and uh, um, and now I after after the after a year when i look back you know my podcast started changing my life because it started bringing all these different amazing people in my life uh, from all over the world i think it's really wonderful to hear uh, the lovely things that you've done um but mo- moving on to miranda miranda i know that you do the tarot card reading right um so yeah. is it something like i've heard that it's kind of like a spiritual therapy well, I don't do tarot. And it brings the consciousness. So it's okay. So it's just the a lip reading that you do. So what I do is it is with the kiss print. That is the energy and that's the forensics part of it. But these are kiss whisper oracle. The difference between the oracle and the tarot, the tarot is anyone could do it. You learn the book, you know, you could do readings. This is messages with the angels. So it flows through. So the answer to your question, yes. Um, I do think spiritually and with energy and what, you know, what flows through me and what I was things in life. Uh, you know, they, are, they say that, uh, who was one of the authors would said, we all are juggling glass balls, you know, in our hands. And it is up to us to decide which one is okay to fall because it's going to break. So be careful that which, how many you want to juggle. And uh, if it breaks, then you need to figure out the consequences. And uh, uh, friends, uh, everyone, um, thank you for uh, watching this show and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, uh, would love for women to join um, our um, women empowerment group called Women of Noor. Um, the, you know, we, our focus is uh, diversity and inclusion and empowerment. And uh, so, you know, uh, good night, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. Ah, 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 ah.